Good morning. I am at Devil's Backbone Brewery in Roseland, Virginia. And uh, they have a, an amazing system for through hikers where through hikers can come to this little grove and camp overnight for free. And they provide shuttles back and forth to the uh, trail as well. It's about five miles off the trail. So you can see we had about 20 or 25 people here last night. And um, I am going to use this as my base camp for a few days. They have actually a wonderful music venue here and restaurant with uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And um, it is a brewery, so there's beer. So uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this as home and I'm going to help um, shuttle some friends. I have a friend who uh, ended up at urgent care yesterday with an x-ray and uh, he's needing a little help. So I'm going to go get him and another one that's needing to go for an x-ray. So you know what? This all just worked out perfectly. I'm going to take you on a tour around here a little bit later when it's brightened up. I'm going to start the tour of Devil's Backbone Brewery with their breakfast. They have a morning coffee shop that serves hiker breakfast for $5 and they have uh, coffees as well. But wait till you see this breakfast. Wait, Romer, show us the breakfast. <laughs> you guys, this is $5. Thank you, Vanna. You've done a beautiful oh, job. <laughs> Just finished my coffee, an amazing hiker breakfast at uh, Devil's Backbone Brewery, and... Hi, my name's Steve Crandall. How you doing? And Steve is the owner yep. of Devil's Backbone. And how did you... Well, so first of all, tell me about your hiking. So, um, I started hiking in the 60s in Boy Scouts. And back in the day, uh, you know, we didn't have internet. And so there was access to the gear was really limited. And I started out with a a Boy Scout canvas pack and uh, can remember being really excited when I, in a magazine, I found little pads you could put on the straps and use my dad's belt for a hip belt. <laughs> and um, uh, then uh, started evolving. And I can remember uh, there's a book called A Man Who Walked Through Time hmm. by, uh, I believe the author's name is Walker. And he came up with this amazing idea where you could get a baby bottle and use some tubing and a clothespin and you could put the baby bottle in there and you could drink water out of it while you're hiking and i don't think he ever got credit for for it yeah for for that the and, primitive camelback yeah and he was big into uh hiking sticks you know and we always we always went hiking sticks and so i've done a lot of extensive hiking out west and the, it, it's funny to to see people out there they know immediately you're from the east when you're hiking with a hickory stick but I've evolved now to the poles. To true poles. Yeah. So are poles. you from here? As um, Rosedale Northern Virginia. Home? Northern okay. Virginia. And like moved Rutherland here. County? Or? Uh, Fairfax. Fairfax. Yeah, I moved County. here 35 years ago. I'm a builder and that's how, uh, you know, this property was uh, developed and uh, um, with the idea of uh, making it a residential commercial community, but 2008 came along. That didn't happen, mm. but the, I built the brew pub. And that made us understand that the property was all about the deer. And then we've evolved it into camping sites and RV sites and, and things of that And a nature. music venue as well. Yes, yes, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. I, um, you know, along this trail, I, my trail name is Cushy Life because I really like to stay at places that uh, treat me like I'm a human and yeah, not, nice. not like hiker trash. And I cannot tell you how grateful I am that you are treating us like human and you're not even charging us to stay here. This is, I, it's, it's like a ministry almost for you well, or something. The it's thing is, is we get more out of you guys being here than maybe you guys get out of being mm -hmm. here because the, the sort of the, uh, the DNA transfer or whatever it is from, from just being around you guys is, is enriching not only you know us that that live here but but our guests that come too mm. and it's just an amazing thing the appalachian trail is an amazing thing it and sure I've, is. I've hiked on the pct and the kind of divide and it, it amazes me when i i run across people like that have been here you know they've hiked the at and they're they're doing the, the triple crown or whatever and uh uh, so, so it makes it uh, makes it a really small world, but uh, it's it, it's exciting for us to have you. I, I am just beyond grateful yeah. and thankful, and uh, you know, I told my friends this is the place that we got to go this yeah. week. I'm I'm injured, and I'm taking a few days off trail to try to heal, and then I'll get back on trail. 
and uh, this is the place. Well, if you got time in the fall, we've got a great festival here, the Hoopla. We camp about 2,000 people on the property. No way. And that's the last weekend in September, but we have one, an event every every month and through the summer. But uh, Are most of them at the other location? Uh, no, they're here. They're but here. The events okay. are mostly here. The other okay. locations are packaging brewery. It's a little more commercial. <laughs> okay. Uh, but we do have a brew pub uh, in there also. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So when did you start um, inviting hikers to come here? 2008, when we, 2008. we started. Yeah, wow. the very first time. Wow. And, uh, and they were everybody was hiking or camping somewhat illegally, you know, mm -hmm. and we, we had to jump through hoops to get uh, to get the bathhouse and, you know, to get all that stuff infrastructure built in. But uh, we're, we're sort of quasi legal now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually, I'm sure that the residents of the municipality is actually yeah. glad that you're helping take care of a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's not a problem. You guys are great. Well, I appreciate it so yeah. much. It's uh, it's an honor. And your staff has been amazing. And the cleanliness. Great. I just everything about it. You guys get five stars thank you very much thank that you. means a lot thank, thank you. you all right everybody this is the place to be you can see the entrance to the facility over here they have the meadows which is the uh, area where they have performances and uh, they have areas with outdoor bars and outdoor seating and eating and this huge pavilion and this is where we had breakfast this morning was at the summit house which is their coffee and breakfast location it really is just so well thought out and thought through. Uh, really impeccably clean. Uh, for any hikers, typically the most important thing is the bathrooms. Now this is an example of the bathroom that they have at here at the uh, on the grounds, not at the camp area. But you'll just be blown away. clean this is. Very clean. Isn't it wonderful? As we come in from the barbecue pit area, there's a beautiful restaurant here that has outdoor seating on either side. 